guys, welcome back. So today is day 34 of the Daily Arithmetic Challenge. Okay, on the screen for you now are six questions. Press pause, have a go. Once you've done with those, there are then four more on the next screen. And once you've had a go at doing all ten, we will go through the answers together. Okay, time to go through the answers then. So the first question here that we've got is 5 cubed. Now remember, that is not 5 times 3, that is multiplying the same number together 3 times. So it's actually 5 times 5 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25, 25 times 5 is 125. Number 12, we've got 6011 divided by 1000. So for this one, it's remembering how many times your numbers either move up or down a place value. Now because it's a division, they're obviously going to move down a place value because your answer that you end up with should be smaller than the number you started with. Um, and as you can see, they move three times, and that is because there are three zeros in the number 1000. Um, the decimal point stays in the same place. Now there wasn't a decimal in the original number, but remembering that a decimal point always lands at the end. It always hides at the end of your number. So your answer for that one should be 6.011. The zero still has to be there, it doesn't disappear. Number 13, we had 70 div uh, multiplied by 70. So for this one, I actually divided both of them by 10 and just did 7 times 7. And then because I t took away two zeros, I have to then multiply by that again in the answer. So I'm multiplying by 100 because that is the number with two zeros in. So 7 seven are 49 and then 49 multiplied by 100 is 4,900. At number 14, lovely and simple, is 1, 6, add 1, 6. Again, the numerators are the same, so they stay the same in your answer. Sorry, the denominators are the same. The numerators you add together, so 1 add 1 is 2, so your answer is 2, 6. And you could have simplified that to make it 1 third, but you wouldn't need to do that one necessarily. At number 15, it's a nice and straightforward addition question. The only difference is, is that the answer box is on the wrong side of the question. You do everything else exactly the same. Um, and the answer for that one is 16,014. And number 16, we've got a very similar question to number 12. Um, we've got 5.3 multiplied by 1,000, but instead of it getting smaller like in the last question, because it's a multiplication, our number is getting bigger. And our digits are going to move up three place value slots because there are three zeros in the number 1,000. And you're going to get the number 5,300. So number 17, we've got... 3.04 multiplied by 4. So for this one, again, some of you are going to look at that and say the 4 is in the wrong place for its uh, place value. Yes, you're very right, it is. It should be under the 3. However, when it's a multiplication of decimals question like this, it doesn't matter. You've just got to remember to multiply each digit by 4 um, and put your decimal point back in your answer. So your answer is 12.16. Uh, number 18, find 10% of 5,980. Well, that's nice and straightforward. To find 10% of any number, you just divide it by 10, which gives me the answer 598. Number 19, we've got 560 divided by 8. Remember, write out your 8 times tables, your multiples of 8. And as you can see, we've got 560, and we are dividing each of those digits by 8. If I can't divide it by 8, it moves across for the next place value, and my number is 70. And then last but not least, number 20, um, we've got 3084 divided by 6. And again, you can see I've written out my multiples of 6, just to make sure I don't make any silly mistakes. 6 into 3 I can't do, so I've popped the 0 there, moved the 3 across. I've then got 6s into 30, which go in 5 times, with nothing remaining, so I don't carry anything else across. Then got 6s into 8, well that goes in one whole time, but it has got 2 left over. Carry the 2 across, and then I've got 6s into 24, which go 4 times.